changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world. I've seen too many bad examples. Mm. Everybody's body moves. Mm -hmm. Okay, I talk, I talk I like one that. Right. Everybody. <laughs> Your body yes. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pata Pato Show. I talked one time at the church <laughs> service, I think uh, <laughs> two years ago at the, 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 uh, the Valentine service. I was mm -hmm. given an opportunity to speak and I'm like, don't 100% accept you, like, not normal. Mm -hmm. For 100% of men, you see a naked body, your mm -hmm. body goes, come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, that bubble head. <laughs> your mind does a bubble headed thing, you know. And first, your body's gonna move, but then mm -hmm. your thoughts should remind you, I have home training. Yes. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. She mm -hmm. got boob boobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this. Okay, uh, why is it outside? Question. Yeah. Is, is, does she have a problem? Problem. I, I think about all of that. Does yeah. She problem. Okay. Is she psychologically okay? Mm -hmm. uh, does she have parents who mm -hmm. should have taken care of this? Internal questioning. Yes, I, I ask myself this question because it doesn't mean it, I, she could be, do all them sexy dance and stuff in mm -hmm. her business. Mm -hmm. But all of this question goes on in my, my mind. mind. Because un, until, until, <laughs> until she says, come, I am moving. No. Because you shouldn't. No, 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 there should no, be no. an agreement. Yes. And there should be an invitation. Yes. That this must happen. Yes. What about rape? I. I should. I should kill you when you rape. <laughs> it doesn't count. Doesn't make any sense. It's not nice. It's not nice for real. Uh, nothing justifies rape. Of nothing, course. Nothing just. Um, somebody asked a question one time and said, "What? What do you think triggers it?" I'm like, stupidity does trigger. It's triggered. It. Yes. I like stupid. that. I like just that. Stupid. Stupidity. I don't care how naked the lady gets. I don't care how nice your boobs, your boobs and booty looks. Mm -hmm. If there is supposed to look nice, that's how God made it. The whole figure, figure. is supposed to look amazing. That's why we move. That's why we have erection as guys. But basically, doesn't mean erection doesn't mean enter. Mm. Doesn't mean first. The person is trying and you're still doing. How do you enjoy it? How do you enjoy that? Doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. So as a man, you are saying no to no, me. Mm, it's not a You're headed. Think about. You've heard it from Dennis, a music producer. I have a too. So don't. <laughs> <laughs> he just got real, man. <laughs> he gets it too, but he has it under control. And it is stupidity that would make you to rape somebody. So going on here, on do you think that musicians get discriminated on? I mean, I'm sure you've been to play to shows in shows where it's not just with an acquired bomb set. I'm sure there's also tribalism everywhere that you mm -hmm. go to. Have you seen that happen to anybody? Has it ever happened to you before? Yeah, it happened a couple of times. But, really? You know, it's because they don't they don't know me. How did you deal with it? I just okay. I I basically have this thing in my head that I'm gonna forgive everybody in the face value what mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. first. I know you don't know me, so you're gonna act funny. So mm -hmm. I already give you. There's like a threshold. There's a room. forgiveness. Okay. Already placed that for you, you. You don't say hi to me. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not, I, I, you don't. You didn't take off my clothes. Did okay. You? you know I. It happens. I go to a show and they go. Uh, where you from, please? Uh, uh, Mr. Dennison from here. Okay, please stay here. Mm. And they put you in some place that is unkempt. And I'm like, okay. But when you hear me play, you're going to be impressed. Mm. <laughs> and you're going to change your yeah, mind. And I made up my mind I, to, um, to, to sell. That's right. To sell me. That's in right. The, in the expert version. I'm going to ask <laughs> I'll put me on the train and sell me across. <laughs> I like that. So how do we change this attitude towards people because they're from a different tribe than we are, or maybe we feel that they're better than us, but just because they're from a different tribe in the industry? Because I know it's there. It's been in Nigeria for a long time. I'm sure it's also been in other places of the world where tribalism has become kind of like a barrier where we don't embrace other people with the same talents that we have. How do we deal with that in the industry? It's not going to be easy. Lots of sensitization will have to be done. Okay. Personally, I would have to, uh, if I if I come in contact with those, I let my for you speak for me. Okay. And then secondly, if I have opportunity, I have to, and I super 
me and from you, I didn't choose where they come from. That's right. Neither did you. Choose to come Nobody from. Nobody chose Wingham. anywhere they come, come from. from. It, it happened to you. So, okay. And wherever you come from doesn't make you bigger than me. Me. That's Actually, right. Uh, Martin Luther said we, we should be judged by the content Tons of, of character, character. That's not right. Not by the color of our skin. In. Not but by where we come from. That's so right. So I don't go in the talk and then they say we fought. <laughs> Uh, I don't go using all of that. That's like uh, people from a certain pres uh, uh, ge geographical location or mm -hmm. do witch witchcraft and all of that. Okay. I don't, I don't generalize things until you act funny. You With me, still a great guy to me. Okay. And when you act funny, I give you probably two, three tries and in see. my head and see if you have sense. You change. Yes. And, and be a different person. I know sense is around you, but I'm hoping that you adapt to the. Yeah. <laughs> You well, you know what I've gotten with that issue of tribalism here. What Dennis is actually saying is have value for yourself and do not beg to be recognized. Because like I always say, when you beg for recognition, it diminishes value. And so basically he's just saying have value for yourself. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your accent is. What we're interested at that time is the music that you're about to play and the craft that you're showcasing to the world. Why do you think that certain churches actually value musicians that come from outside and even gospel artists or other artists that come from outside instead of the one that they have in their local churches and locality? By the same group of people who probably use plastic plates to eat and keep the uh, nice china wares for visitors. Mm. It happens. Mm. I think you have a problem appreciating yourself. <laughs> you just have a problem. Mm -hmm. And we have to address that. It and it's going to happen. It will keep happening because uh, people get to see finish. Mm -hmm. You've seen them before. I have great respect for, for you. you. Every time I okay. see you, I, I know you're from here. Mm -hmm. I, I think we've known for way over 10 years. That's right. I see I have great respect for you because mm -hmm. I've been trained to have respect, respect for people. And you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You've charted a course for yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're excellently performing well. So mm -hmm. what the heck, I should, <laughs> I should constantly respect you. And just celebrate that. Yes. If it happens that tomorrow you have to do something else, I'm like, okay, she's adapting. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Everyone who owns a church or who's leading a church mm -hmm. should just know the musicians. These guys are expecting to grow under On you. you. And if they're expecting to grow, you should give them give them space to grow. to grow. Then how do you like celebrate it? Like me, mm -hmm. I enjoy being in pictures of success. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? I want I want to hear one of my boys tell me. Uh, so I, I, I just bought a car. I'm like amazing. Wow! From probably something I did, did for, for him, him. Or, uh, you know, a recommendation or something I did for him. Mm -hmm. I, I want to have bragging rights. That's right. Hello, sir. That you're ex respecting every other person that outside. Do you have bragging rights? What can you point like? This is this is my boy. I mm -hmm. grew I grew him from when he was like, like this. this. Look at what he's he, become. It, that's right. Until you can grow somebody. To, uh, somebody to a place that you can have bragging rights, you still have that bad thing mm. inside. You should get rid of get, it. Get rid of it. Yes. if you Until you do, you will still appreciate outsiders way more than you appreciate. Tri and outsiders. Yes. Yeah, so you keep feeding yourself with the plastic plates and the rubber plates and keep the china wear for people who come to visit. As guests. As guests. So basically give the best to even those at home. Yes. Because they deserve it. And those guests would come and they would go. And usually what I say is that the economic value that you give to guests that come into your city and into your church, that money is being spent outside. But when you give that money to somebody who is local here, it circulates within the economy. You grow your own economy. That's right. Well. And that's what I believe in as well. Now, it has to do with musicians and their money. Do you think that some musicians are overpriced? Or they could be reasonable sometimes. <laughs> because, I mean, I know that there are some musicians that, Lord Jesus, if you don't pay them, they don't mount any instruments to play. I can understand it. I can understand all of that. Okay. Uh, it's, okay. My, my history my history is a little, you know, messy in the sense that I learned how to play the drums first. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, like, go to a school to learn on, up until it was time to go to a school. school. But in learn. the space of time that, I, you know, I got, you know, freelance, mm -hmm. you know, I, I learned... In a church, who uh, the store, the store where they keep the drums, mm -hmm. I had a, a padlock. You know, I could I, I would sneak inside and just mm -hmm. gently learn my muscle memory. And, and I hear someone call. I stop. Mm -hmm. One of those days, I stopped, and they just came, locked the door. It was like 4 p.m. They locked the door, and 
that was blocking for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slept in the storage for till the next day. Yeah, it gave me an opportunity to practice all night because now I was alone by myself and <laughs> making I couldn't be no <laughs> all night because you, you, nobody was supposed to know I was there. <laughs> wow. And not like there were phones that I could call my mom and like, okay. Okay, um, I'm here, I'm locked up. Come on, <laughs> get up. me, okay. you know. So my mom was worried sick. Everybody was worried sick. Where was this guy? Well, I'm pr there practicing. Mm. Fun time because I was locked in. Mm. You know, I, I, I learned in a terrible uh, condition. Condition, So okay. it, for me, uh, growing my gift was like the best thing in my head. I you didn't had care. to do. So I did that. And the things you had to go through to get to where you wanted to be. Yes. So, so if I put my history into this, mm -hmm. I should have a prize. You should be overpriced. Yes. You should overpriced. Yes, you're overpriced because I've gone through a lot. <laughs> a lot to be to overpriced. Then I, I, I spent lots of money building my brand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I met, I've gone through, I, I've gone, I, I went to Lagos in 2002, one of my biggest inspiration on the base, mm -hmm. right game to learn, mm -hmm. spent in his parlor for two days. Wow. To have a one on one contact with him because it's not the same as reading, having materials Books to, to read. Yeah, it's not the same. That's having a mentor, mm -hmm. mentee relationship. Friendship with him. I had to have it, you know. So if I put all of those experiences together, mm -hmm. I should be overpriced. You think so? Yeah. I wouldn't even want to call it as being overpriced. I would just say that my price is just being reasonable and reasonable. fair enough. Because again, you know what? When it has to do with people say, oh, that's pricey. No, baby. It's not that I'm pricey. It's just that you well, can't afford, exactly. you can't even afford me. That's a whole different yes, thing. Yes, if, if I'm to put my price, you should be paying for all the experiences that right. make me me. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I've been through, you know, it's not easy to get you on it on just any stage, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Because before you, before you come, there's lots of things that. Can because happen. I'm valued, I yeah, have value you for myself. Value, you put value on what you do. That's so, right. Um, I, I do all of that before okay. you can get me to play a base on a job. Mm -hmm. You have to think well because I play good base. So you have to, yeah, my studio, <laughs> I play good base. So you mm -hmm. have to think. Oh, you have to save up. Um, I have value. So you put, 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 put value on you. Yeah. But let me ask you this question. Would you play for free because of relationship? I could. I've done it many times. Okay. I just wanted, I just wanted to get it. So people would be like, oh, I wanted to work with Dennis, but he is too much pricey now. No. So, but with relationship, he can play for you as know well. I what relationship is. Mm. Oh, it's not oh. one-sided. It's a whole I, lot. I have to gain from you. you it's a whole lot. Yeah. Relationship is a whole lot. Relationship yes. is a whole networking on its own. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you benefit from the other person and the other person benefits from you. It's not a one-way traffic one -way when it has to do with relationship because a lot of people would think when we say relationship, it's just a one-sided. Oh, let me go have a relationship with Dennis. He's going to come. No, baby. You're going to have a relationship and it's a give and take kind of relationship. Yeah. Now, before I let you go off air, what would you say that we could do to change the value that people add on craftsmanship? Because a lot of people are having that, they're not having the value that they want added to their craftsmanship. What could we change in the industry? Okay, one, I'm going to have to work with uh, the people who are paying and the people who are performing. Okay. So for the people who are performing first, make sure that your craft is solid. Okay. If it's good, people want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Put some, brand yourself. I get yourself a logo. I got me a logo. Oh, that's right. I, I got things going on. Okay. I buy... I, Beautiful equipment. My, mm -hmm. my letters base, base is way over a thousand dollars. And you know, so I'm like, why do you spend so much on buying just the base? I'm like, it sounds better. I mm -hmm. don't have to stress sounding funny. I mm -hmm. don't, I don't, I don't want to stress myself. So I go for the best, mm -hmm. get the best gears, put myself, put yourself together, get your craftsmanship on point. Okay. Then for those who are paying, know that these people go through a lot to get to where they are. Yes, you should to make know. Sure my Think them. about, for example, you're inviting someone to perform at the church. He's mm -hmm. coming with a whole band, and mm -hmm. you have fifty thousand. Fifty thousand to in pay. In, 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 to pay. To pay. A whole band. Like this is like twelve man band. How's that a whole band. Four hundred bucks. <laughs> How are you going to share it? Value. Put value. Put some value. value. Just if you cannot pay, tell them before they come. That, oh, sorry, this is the precision that I can afford. Mm -hmm. Please, if you can, can you cut down the size of your band? Be that's right. And that's have right. Have a negotiation. Talk with people. Talk. It, it'll be easy for you know them to value your mm. sense of appreciation too. Because the reason they might come once and never branch again because they after know you that don't value gifts. them. That's right. <laughs> so now, Dennis, I have a question that I want to ask you before your closing thought. What about the females that come to you who are artists and they want to record music? And you know a lot of people believe that in life either you pay in cash or you pay in kind. How do you deal with women who come to you with their bodies for services? I want you to produce a song for me. I don't have the cash to pay you. 
but hey, I'll offer you in kind to pay for it. First, have you had the experience? Second, have you dealt with it? I've had the experience a couple of times. Uh, 2000? Mm -hmm. Okay, the first experience was the lady asking me to teach her how to play okay. the bass. In my head, uh, I have this thing, this cloaking, I wear this cloak. As soon as a lady comes to me and wants to learn how to play, in my head, I'm like, you're just going to play. It's only play that you're going to play. Mm -hmm which is this instrument, mm -hmm. anything aside this instrument, we're going to have a long discussion. Mm -hmm. And like that, I put myself in the picture to put myself out of being, uh, you know, on the platter of collecting kind. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I, ladies are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm supposed to enjoy the goods of life, but at the same time, this thing can hook you. Trust me, they can turn it and call it rape, and you get into trouble. So I get, I get careful. So I you protect. Yes, I protect me. I've had a couple of times, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, uh, I cannot. In my head, I'm like, there are little processes in the studio. Things, some people got to be paid while the job is going on. Mm -hmm. Like we have to fill the gen, and all these things have to have to happen at the reception. Mm -hmm. So and I don't want to have to use my money to settle all of that for mm -hmm. you to come in. So it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. So could you, the best I can do for you to give you a lot of cut in the percentage. Uh, in the discount, so you could do your job, but you know that's not gonna cut through. Mm -hmm. it doesn't cut through for me because, man, I, I I charge like a hundred G's at the moment. Okay, with track, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's like that's that's a lot of money at this time for mm -hmm. some people around here. Mm -hmm. And just one time, something I already get in the house, I can always get. I can always. <laughs> Get for free, please pay me some money, please. <laughs> but I need more money. I need more money. I want I the free money. Boys. Is high. <laughs> I need to pay money, please. Sex is easy. We can always get it at home. Please pay me money. <laughs> And besides, if I wanted to get it outside home, I know where to go get it. Yeah. You're offering, so I don't want. I want the money. For example, mm -hmm. what if I get that from you? Do you think I'll be creative enough to be? On the on in, on this, I'll be looking at you while I'm here singing. I'm thinking to collect another one. It's bad. Your job will not sound fine. Don't do it again. Oh, uh, I like that. Now give me your closing thoughts <laughs> on those people looking up to you for all the positive vibes that you just Okay, said it. guys, guys, this is this is this is one of the best things I, I get to think about. I just want to be happy. I want at the end of the day, someone looks at me and like, I like that guy. Mm. You know, okay, I wrote one. I didn't know what to write on my Facebook profile, and I go, great guy. Mm -hmm. I just want everyone to call me great. Mm. So, please, it's it's about improving yourself. Make sure that at, at every time, nobody sees you in the same place they saw you yesterday. Because mm -hmm. even God, it doesn't, not like God improves, but God never gives you a picture of what he has done before. He always likes to give you a better picture. picture. That's why it's called revelation. That's like, right. Revelation is, yeah. it is constant. Yeah. And you know, scripture says once has he spoken twice. Twice, you know, twice means the second time I'm hearing it in a different light. Mm. So I, I always want to come out in a different light, and you should come out different. At the, uh, you know, using different pictures. Like I said one time at the, an event, I'm going to die as many people mm. at the end of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to be Dennis the husband. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to be Dennis as the father. Dennis the musician. Mm -hmm. Dennis the producer. Mm -hmm. Dennis the carpenter. Mm -hmm. Dennis the uh, audio guy. Mm -hmm. Dennis the creative writer. Mm -hmm. Dennis the I'm, let lots of people mourn me when I'm gone. Mm. That's the point. Because if just your family mourns you, man, you didn't do anything. Mm. When Jesus died, the whole world mourned. Mourned. Ah. Easter. <laughs> We're still celebrating We're still him. Celebrating We're him. celebrating his birth. So uh, you know you get. So let's let's. Just make sure that you reinvent yourself and then be patient. Be patient with the growth process. Don't 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 be in a hurry because mm -hmm. if you are in a hurry, you're gonna make mistakes. Mm. Take your time. You have I, I tell myself I have a hundred years. I've just scratched forty, so I have, I have sixty. Wow. So let's just work this out gently. We'll figure it out. Mm. Mm. I like that. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate you. Cannot thank, thank you, you enough. Thank you. And this is where we draw the curtains for today. Now after all is said and done, remember that you owe yourself a right to happiness. And at the end of it, you will be judged by God by what you did on earth. Now whether you're a musician or you just do music for fun, let your conscience be your judge. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat. I have you and always to take care of yourself. Bye -bye. Things are never what they seem to be. 
changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, and come Just part of my new show.